Hey my chickens, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be on first impressions on the 100% pure primer foundation. I've chosen to use this product because I've been researching a little bit, like I said in my previous video. So I'm going to really do my research and find products that are chemical or mostly chemical free and also like the friendly to the environment because I'm a huge environmental activist person. Like I would love to help the environment out as much as I can. I wanted to go towards more like a more natural, less chemical kind of makeup products kind of vision is what I've got going because I feel like my skin has been acting out so much because it just does not like the chemicals when it's sitting on my skin. My skin just does not like it. It's really sensitive and it's always it's always not been good with makeup but I've always liked makeup too much. I've been like, eh, it'll be right. But I'm really trying to get on top of it. So I've gone towards more of like a natural makeup line. Even my skincare and everything's more of like a natural line now. Like I, don't, I try not to use as many chemicals on my skin because I've been researching and everything and our skin is an organ, obviously. <laughs> And what we put on it is going to soak into our into our bodies, into our bloodstream, and that's going to be going like pumped all around, like all those toxins and poisons and everything in in makeup products. Like we don't want that inside of us. We don't even realize it, but we are like ingesting these makeup products. It's soaking into our skin, and it's just it's not good for us. So I'm trying to give you guys products that will actually benefit your skin while it's sitting on your face. 8 hours, 10 hours, however long you'll be wearing your makeup. So I've gone and chosen these 100% pure ones. For now I'm going to be doing different ones as, along the way. I'll go, keep bringing in new products that you guys can try out and stuff. And see like if you guys like it. And I want to see how it tests out if it lasts all day. If it you know, stays matte on my skin because I'm quite oily. Things like that. If it's like just a natural finish like other foundations create. So I want to see if it's as good as all the synthetic ones. So the products that I bought from the 100% Pure Makeup line is the Mattifying Primer because I didn't want the Luminous one because my skin's already oily, like I already get that kind of luminous feel. And I also bought the Fruit Pigmented Healthy Skin Foundation in White Peach. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to prime one side of my face so that you can see what the, the difference between a primed side, like if it lasts longer, and then the unprimed side, like does it sit well, like just to see if the, if the primer really makes any difference. And I decided to choose the primer that went with the foundation, like the same product line, because usually the best primers you can use is like the same makeup line kind of products because they'll kind of work together and kind of just enhance the kind of makeup product, the foundation, everything like that. It just says it's a mattifying primer full of vitamins and antioxidants with seaweed collagen. So collagen's great for your skin guys, it's what makes you look young, plump and healthy. So that's what it looks like when it's sent to you and then you just, oh, and you just like, <laughs> that was funny. Then you just pop it open and the actual product looks like this. So you get 30 mils, which is about the average size that you usually get with any any kind of product like this and it goes for about $45 US and it's basically silicone free infused with skin plumping seaweed collagen which makes cosmetic application flawless and lasts longer it fills in lines for smoothness while keeping excess shine away which is perfect because I don't want the excess shine like making me look greasy and anything like that and this pro these products are also vegan which is fantastic so there's no animal cruelty or anything like that and with the ingredients, it's just a lot less chemicals used in it. They use a lot more natural products like green tea, like green tea extract, honeysuckle, like tea tree, things like that. Like just lots of extracts and things like that. So they try and use like fruit pigments and natural products to you know color their foundations and put in their um, primers and things like that, so that it's natural products sitting on our skin. So when it is absorbed into our skin, like our skin is like a sponge, it's, gonna, it's just going to absorb whatever is sitting on it. It's going to absorb all those natural products and it's going to be healthier for your skin. So it's got like a gel-like consistency. And I'm just going to prime that to one side of my face. So I'll prime it to my right side. Your left. So you apply it evenly over cleansed and moisturized skin. And you allow about 90 seconds for it to kind of sink into your skin and kind of get its thing going. And that was basically just one pump. That's more than enough. So you always want to make sure you work from the inside of your face outwards. Oh my gosh, it's already like mattified me in everything already. Oh, and it feels really nice on the skin, like really lightweight and like silky. Really, really nice. And oh, it's just like completely mattified me and like evened out my texture of my skin a little bit. Oh, that is incredible. That is really, really good. I didn't expect that to be like that mattifying already. Like it looks fantastic. 
with this primer you don't actually have to be an oily skin girl or guy you can use it it says here it can be for all skin types basically for anyone that desires a long lasting makeup wear and that it just minimizes shine so if you don't want shine if you want more of a matte finish then i'd choose this primer if you want more of a luminous finish then i'd choose their other primer here's all the ingredients listed inside of it but i'm really really happy that it doesn't contain silicon because that baby is really really not good for your skin at all so i've let it sink into my skin let's move on to the foundation so they have a range of shades for different skin tones you can check all the information out on their website. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. And I think this one goes for about $45 as well, US. So it's basically, like it says, it's a fruit pigmented foundation. So they use food and like fruit products to get the natural colors and things to actually get the color of the foundation rather than using synthetic products and you know all these like different chemicals and things that you don't want to be sitting on your skin for, you know, long periods of time that will be like just soaked in and just like transferred around your body you want to try and use something that's actually good for your skin and these are the ingredients included in the foundation so basically it's a rich and creamy full coverage fruit dyed makeup that conceals all imperfections so you look like you have perfect skin without looking or feeling heavy so it's a cream to matted powder finish which makes your skin velvet soft Formula is enriched with antioxidant packed super fruits, vitamins and other skin nourishing nutrients. It's coloured from the pigments of fruits and vegetables, vegetables, vegetables rather than being coloured from minerals or synthetic dyes and it's vegan as well guys. Yes. For anyone with light complexions, this is the white peach coloured one. I got white peach but there's, like I said, there's a range of different colours for you guys. So it comes in a packaging like this. I love that noise so much, literally. I just think the um, packaging is gorgeous, like really like natural with all the fruits. Like I'm really big on like nature and natural products and things like that. So the packaging is just like on fleek. And you get about 30 mils of product, which is the average amount that you get with any foundation product really. I'm just going to use a pump or two to begin with because... I quite like a full coverage foundation look today. I'm just going to grab a Chi Chi beauty sponge and just start placing that on my skin. It glides on really smoothly over the prime side. Like it's really easy to just blend into the skin. Perfect colour match. I'm really happy with the choice I chose. It's not getting cakey or thick anywhere. It's going on really smoothly, which is so good. And it's applying really well on the unprimed side as well. It's going on really smoothly it feels really good on my skin and it's actually it's got like a nice like fruity smell to it it's really fresh uh, i was having a little bit of trouble on my nose area but to be honest i always have trouble in my nose area like just makeup doesn't like to sit on my nose i don't know why that's with about like two pumps or so it's covered it's got a nice like even coverage over my skin i got it into my nose so it's sitting quite well and I think it looks amazing. Like my, I kind of like that prime side. Like I can't even see my pores. Like legitimately. So I wouldn't say it's like a complete full coverage. Like you can still see some um, blemishes and things like that. It's more of a medium coverage, I would say. But it's obviously buildable. You can build it up to a full coverage. I just use about like one and a half pumps. So I didn't use that much. It was more like a medium coverage for me. This is pretty much how it's sitting on the skin at the moment. My pores are like invisible right now. I love it. I just got the foundation and primer because I wanted to try them out and they are quite expensive. It came to about $100 Australian for me. It's basically the same as a high-end makeup like foundation product anyway, so I wasn't really that shocked. But I'm quite happy with how it's sitting on my skin. I'm going to conceal now and put some powder on. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen. And I'm just placing that around my eyes. And just blend it in. And then I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135 and just setting everything in place with that. And that is with the powder and concealer and everything applied. So this is how it's sitting on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and everything like that. And I'll check in with you in a couple of hours. So right now it is 12.24 p.m. So I'll check in with you at about 2.30. So guys, I've done my brows and I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't do a flash test for you guys. So I quickly went and just took a flash photo of the foundation. 
and it sits really well. The flash, it doesn't wash me out. It doesn't look like I'm like pasty like a ghost. You guys can judge for yourself, but that is what it looks like in flash photography. Hey guys, so it's 2.50 on the dot right now and my skin is still looking really, really good. I'm not quite happy with my nose area. I wasn't happy at the very beginning when I applied it. Maybe I didn't apply it right, but it was a little bit patchy. So right at the top and also a little bit around the nostril area like here. It's not sitting as well as I would like. It's a little bit patchy. Otherwise, though, everywhere else is looking really, really good. It's feeling really, really comfortable my skin. It's not feeling, like, cakey or thick. Um, the prime side, I have to say, is sitting a lot better than the unprime side. I'm not sure it's just because I have a few imperfections and things. But the prime side, it's so smooth. It's so, like, my pores are looking, like, flawless. It's sitting really well on my skin. It's not looking greasy or anything. But otherwise, it's sitting so, so, so well. Like, even the unprime side is still sitting really nicely. So I'm really happy with it. So I'll check in with you guys at about 5 o'clock, so I'll see you then. Hey guys, I'm back again. It is 4.46 in the afternoon, so it's been about 4 hours since I've been wearing this look. I changed my eye makeup up from what I was wearing before because I didn't want to have that heavy eye look because I'm going out to dinner tonight with my family. So we'll see how it lasts through that, but it's been looking really, really good. It hasn't changed much since um, since I last checked in with you guys. It's still looking super fresh. All my family's been saying my skin looks super velvety and soft and really natural. It's covered up all my blemishes and things. It hasn't faded or anything like that. It looks really, really good, especially around my nose and pore area. My nose is looking actually really good, like it hasn't faded or anything since. Like, let me zoom you guys in. This is what it looks like close up. So you can see my skin looks really good, really healthy, really glowy, and doesn't look greasy. This mattifying primer is amazing. So I do still feel like the prime side is probably sitting the best, like the smoothest, especially around my pore area, like I said before. But Otherwise, even on this side, it's still sitting really, really, really well. But that is what it looks like in flash photography. So I'll check in with you guys in a few hours and I'll talk to you then. Okay, guys, so it is quarter to 11, so 10.45 p.m. My makeup has been on since about 12.30. So I don't even know how many hours that is. I'm so tired right now. So I'm about to remove my makeup. So it's sitting pretty well. Like, it's lasted throughout the day really really well I feel especially for a product that has less chemicals in it I feel like it's a little bit greasy around here where I haven't primed it's gone a little bit patchy around here because I've been like laughing so hard at dinner I was like wiping my eyes because I was crying laughing like I had tears streaming down my face because I was laughing so much and I've also gone like patchy like it's been removed a little bit here from when I was around, like eating and stuff and I was wiping my face but otherwise, it's sitting really, really well. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin. It still, looks, it still looks like it's part of my skin. So that is really, really good. But otherwise, that is this finished first impressions look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to do more first impressions like this one. Incorporating more natural products that are better for our skin than a lot of the harsh chemical ones. So make sure to like it if you do want to see more of those. And subscribe down below or right here to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.